In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what is the one key disadvantage of only using Facebook ads as your main customer acquisition channel, specifically when you first launch your direct to consumer brand? One of the main challenges or obstacles that you need to overcome when you first kickstart your brand is how do you acquire customers at a low enough cost so you ultimately don't go out of business advertising. Generally, new brands establish the cost that they're able to spend to acquire a customer against that first purchase. And as the business matures, they account for repeat purchases, which allow them to ultimately increase the cost that they're able to spend to acquire a customer because they're evaluating the performance of their Facebook advertising campaigns against a longer payback period. But at this critical point in your business, you need to acquire customers as efficiently as possible. So to truly understand the disadvantages of only using Facebook ads at this stage, I need to share with you the three ingredients or three pillars that ultimately come together to make Facebook ads the most powerful advertising platform in the world. Once you understand that missing key ingredient or disadvantage, you can ultimately supplement that disadvantage with another ad product like Google search ads to ultimately acquire customers as efficiently as possible. Pillar number one, the ad creative. The unlike Google search ads, which only allow you to use text, Facebook ads ultimately allow you to use videos and other interactive ad types to tell a unique and compelling brand story and ultimately position your product and offset it against the competitors. Pillar number two, social validation. The ability for Sally to not only see your ad, but to ultimately like, share, and comment about her anticipation for receiving your product and ultimately sharing her experience with your product and brand on the actual ad creative makes the ad creative better than any landing page that you can ultimately create. Because the potential viewer of the ad is sold on your brand and product before they ever get an opportunity to actually click through and buy. And the third pillar that ultimately makes Facebook the most powerful advertising platform in the world is the pixel. The ability for Facebook to take the recommended 1,000 existing customers that already purchased from your brand and ultimately make a new addressable audience or a pool of people that are likely to convert at a high enough conversion rate or buy often enough to ultimately hit a specific CPA or ROAS target that you set when you change your bidding strategy to target CPA or target ROAS. Those three pillars, the ad creative, the baked in social proof or cases for social validation, and the pixel data, which acts as input or knowledge for Facebook to ultimately create that addressable audience that will convert at your desired CPA target. Again, make Facebook the most powerful advertising platform in the world. But as a new existing brand, you don't have that existing purchase data that you could feed Facebook as input, as knowledge, to ultimately create that addressable audience. So here's where you can supplement another ad product with Google search ads to ultimately use 
Google Ads and Facebook Ads together to acquire customers as efficiently as possible. Let's look at a hypothetical example. So let's say you're a brand and you sell personalized hair care products. So when Sally goes to Google and she types in personalized hair care products, you can ultimately use that search as a proxy of Sally's intent, as a proxy of a signal that signals that Sally is in market to buy a product that you are currently selling and ultimately capture that demand. And once Sally clicks through on that text search ad and comes on your website, you can then remarket with your Facebook ad creative, which is pillar one. And as you remarket that ad creative, you will ultimately accumulate the cases for social validation, which is to say social proof, which is pillar number two. And now you're leveraging Google's ability to capture demand for customers that are specifically in market for the type of product that you're selling and then supplementing that with the first two pillars which are the key advantages of using Facebook ads and those three components ultimately come together to acquire customers as efficiently as possible. So the key takeaway from this video in the beginning, you don't have the 1,000 to 50,000 customers that you ultimately need to run cold prospecting campaigns on Facebook. So you ultimately need to leverage Facebook's ability to create a compelling ad creative with social validation and to leverage Google's ability to deliver potential prospects to your website that are in market for your type of product to ultimately acquire customers as efficiently as possible.